this problem was um, posted by the cybersecurity hub six, seven days back. Basically, here we are given four four digit numbers. And by following the observations here, we are expected to come up with a four digit number that meets all the conditions here. I worked on this problem and I uh, simulated uh, or I followed simulation. So I generated simulation and it was ex I was expecting to get the right answer out of the simulations. But after discussing with some of the Python experts, it's, I came to realization that simulation is not the most cost effective approach. It is in fact not a very reasonable approach. Later on, I worked on the problem and now I am having a new analysis. This time it is an analytical solution, let's call it here. And uh, basically, if I go through the calculation steps, um, the four cases we are given are introduced as strings. And the conditions are such that the first string here, first number here, has two correct digits, but one of them is misplaced. In the second and third cases, we have two correct digits, but both of them are misplaced. And the fourth case has um, one correct digit and it is correctly placed. Now, uh, the assumptions I had, number one is that, even though I don't see zero on any one of the numbers here, I assume that zero is included in the available digits. So I selected numbers from zero to nine, both included. And I think it's also clear from the uh, strings that every digit is used once. Right? Now starting the problem with empty list, one empty list for the overall database, that, that, that will include the numbers to be selected from. And that database has a lower limit of 1,023 all the way to 9,876. And these boundaries are selected such that 1,023 is the smallest four digit number that you can generate out of digits from zero to nine, both included. Uh, upper and lower bounds included. And 9,876 is the maximum four digit number that you can generate with the same, from the same pool. Now, um, the first line here of inside the for loop is, or let me go with this step one here. Um, I, I am um, following a similar approach to what I've done before. First, I will look at the digit filtering, meaning that I'm trying to come up with the numbers that meet the, this red strings here. And then index filtering, I will look at the yellow, um, the green uh, conditions here. Okay. So in the digit filtering, what I'm doing is that I select the numbers from this pool and I change the numbers. I is the four digit number from that pool, first change it to a string and then to a set. And the reason that I change it to a set, I have two main reasons. Number one, let me show you over here. Number one is that, let's say set A includes elements from one, elements of one, two, three, four, and set B one, two, two, three. If you look at the length of the um, set A, it will show us four. If you look at the length of the set B, it will show us three. Why? Because in sets, if you have the same elements, it, um, it, it, um, so sets do not accept same elements, basically. Right? So I, since I have the set um, selected for these numbers, I so since I have the numbers converted to set, if I put a statement saying that the length of the number equals four, 
means that I am selected uh, different numbers or no same digit is used in there. So I don't use number three twice or number five three times or number six four times. So there's no repeating. So this is really a lot, uh, preventing the, uh, the, the um, value generation or limiting the value generation to not to include repeating digits. Right? This is the first reason to use set. The second reason to set is on the next line, I'm just mimicking these conditions even here on the statement. So if you, so in case one, what I have here, let's say cool. This case one consists of a string here with elements of five, eight, one, six. So I'm saying here that the case one, the in case one and this value from the pool, from the database, so from the value selected from database should have an intersection equal to two, or the intersection of the four-digit number in case one, and the and the uh, non four-digit number selected from the pool. They have an intersection of two, so two elements should be correctly chosen. And I, I have this second, third, and fourth um, statements for the um, following cases. And they all should be met. So I put end in between them. And if I have all four conditions met, I add this number to the candidates pool. And if I do this, I think I have to delete by mistake. So print the length of this um, candidates here. I have this pool of candidates shrinking down to 137 four digit numbers. So the, the uh, 9,876 minus 1,000, let's say around 8,000, the pool with, around, with elements of around uh, 9,000, more close to 9,000, sh is shrinking down to 137 after all the conditions are met. And if, uh, if we are not allowing repeated num digits in the four digit number generation, right? So that is really uh, the first step. So we can shrink the list down to 137. The next step here is called, I call it index filtering. And index filtering really making sure that we meet the conditions of the correct index numbers. And correct index number here means, let's say for this first case, we have uh, two correct digits, we know that, and out of the two correct digits, one of them is placed correctly, the other is uh, misplaced. So the cor correct index number for that case will be one. In the second and third cases, both of the correct digits are misplaced. So the correct index number for case two and case three, both are zero. In the fourth case, we have one correct digit and it's correctly placed. So a correct index number is one. So we need to meet these, these one, zero, zero, one condition too. And index filtering is really where I check this. Right? So the first, uh, I need to have a function and I call this index filter function. So there are three inputs to the function. Number one is this candidates, which is a, a pool of 137 four digit number that we just, generated and then case number case one case two case three case four why do i need the case numbers because they in the correct, the correct index numbers will be different and case index count these are the values here so start with the empty list called final list so what i do is i 
go to the pool of candidates, this 137 numbers. I have I with an index of 137. So what I do first is I take these, I take each of the four digit numbers here and change it to a string and call it candidates string basically. And we put a counter here and the purpose for the counter is we will have a for loop next and this for loop really looks at the uh, digits. So let's say number of one, two, three, 1,234, one we look at digit number one, digit number two, digit number three, digit number four, right? And um, basically in Python, we know that the first string will be index zero, index one, index two, and index three. And we will compare the in indices of the case, which are given with these red strings, with the um, with the four digit number changed into a string from the candidate pool. Right? And if we have this one to one. In index comparison, if we have the same index, uh, same indices, then we will add the counter one. Okay. So, what we do next is we compare this counter to the case index count. In other words, for this first case, for example, the number that we selected from the candidates pool and case one here, 5,816, they should have digits in such orientation that the correct index count should be one. This is really what we are doing. We are looking at the digits, these four digits here and the number we have, and if they have the same uh, numbers on the, on the, um, same indices, we add the counter one up, right? And if we have the counter equals to the correct index count, we add this number to our final list. That's the function. So we basically need to run this function four times for each of the uh, cases. And the what we need to pay attention to is that in the first run of the function, we are using the complete candidates pool that includes 137 items. And in the second case, we are losing, we are using the pool from the first run of the uh, index filter function. I tried to show it over here. We start with 137 case, and after the after the first index filtering run using this uh, index filter function, our cases uh, shrinks down to 46. And if you look at the next uh, uh, or following numbers, these are the candidates. So we have 46 numbers available, which are for meeting the conditions for the for all the conditions of the digit filtering and first condition of the index filtering. And then if you go to second round, third round and fourth round, the number numbers decrease. And after the fourth round, we have only one number that meets all the conditions for the digit and index filtering. And that number is 5,438. Um, I really enjoyed this exercise and uh, I learned from it. But again, I'm not a Python expert. I just work on it to improve my Python cycle. So if you have comments and questions, they are more than welcome.